Rex, give me your winner. Give me your top player who you think can also place. I don't know what that means. Does, does placing, I'm not, again, I'm not a gambler. Does that mean top three? Does that mean top five? How about just, how about just throw out a winner, a, a player you think will contend and a wild card of sorts for people who are filling out their master's pools at home. I can uh, no, I can do this. I think Scotty's going to win. Like I have a tremendous amount of confidence. I, and I think uh, Rory McIlroy and John Rahm are going to contend and it's going to be wow. one of those. The, the, the limb you're on. You're going to take. No, no, no. I am. I'm, I'm about to take a world. step. I'm really? I'm about, about to take a step the off the The top three players in the world are going to contend for this yes, match. one, two, and three. Bravo. I well love done. chalk. No one likes chalk better than me. But you're going to love this. And I had thought this through all day long because I had tried to make an argument to you that Brian Harmon should be the quote unquote dark horse. And we always struggle with this. We always bicker back and forth about what qualifies as a dark horse and what does not. He's the 10th ranked player in the world. I get what you're the coming reigning from. open champion is not a dark reigning horse. open champion. I'm sorry. Not a dark he's, horse. He's the world number eight. How? Oh, sorry. World number eight. Apologies. Sorry, man. Uh, I will say this though, who I'm going for the sort of the, the one you would not expect. Not a bulldog. Russell, give me some Russell Henley. I like it. I think he has four consecutive. Top you like it. He went to Georgia. Uh, I, I believe he has four, fifth, uh, top, four consecutive top 15 finishes. Uh, I may be wrong there, but a, a, a iron play uh, is one of the strengths uh, of his game. Uh, I'm, I'm with you, Rex. I think Scotty Scheffler is going to win this golf tournament, uh, and I think it could be uh, somewhat decisively. Uh, two, three, four shots uh, would not surprise me at all. For my uh, player who I think will contend, I think there's a lot of them, uh, but I think Xander Shoffley is the obvious one to me. Uh, I think we could be looking at another player's championship rehash for sort of the dark horse player, so to speak. I don't know if the world number 12 and a former master's champion is a dark horse, uh, but I do think Hideki Matsuyama uh, will continue to play well this week. Uh, I like Russell Henley as well. Uh, Jordan Spieth, uh, I like him uh, as well. Um, how about just how gonna about name Ned everyone in the field? Is that what we're doing now? How about Will Zalatoris? Rex has played in the final group of this tournament before. You look at his putting stats from regular PG Tour events and major championships, which are traditionally on greens that are faster and more on is a stark difference. I talked to him earlier this week about his putting, which had a little bit of a setback with his broomstick putting. He said he's trying to get more artistic. Uh, there is no golf course in the world uh, that, that favors and rewards artistry, imagination, and creativity uh, quite like Augusta National. And so I do like uh, him as well. Uh, Corey Connors, uh, three top 10 finishes in his fast, past four appearances. If Corey Connors wins this Masters tournament, Rex, uh, I will allow you to write that game story.